We have heard it been said that necessity is a mother of all inventions, but there comes a time when an invention comes along that makes us doubt everything we have known as real. Michael Chikumbuzo, an inventor from Zimbabwe and founder of the SET Technologies, has created the microsonic invention that helps you power cars planes, your house, your fridge, your TV, without the use of any known energy source. This is the e-report and I am your host Enogene Doris, but before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the Next Generation Media channel so you don't get missed out on any of our subsequent videos. So this invention by Maxwell Chikumbuzo promises to bring a revolution to energy resources, but if it is as authentic as it claims to be, then you can be well assured that this man, Maxwell Chikumbuzo, is about to have a lot of allies as well as a lot of enemies. But before we get into the entire issue, let's listen to Maxwell Chikumbuso talk about his invention. Many people are still in doubt what is the source and how reliable is this and is this going to be able to sustain for years? You know, it's only that uh, in Zimbabwe we are having this kind of, uh, of a situation. But I think you've seen like the guys who came from Israel. We have got guys who came from Switzerland. These are the guys I've been working with for years. They have tested it. Some of them, they've bought my, pro my uh, products before. We are in the commercial uh, stage. Starting from tomorrow, we've got small machines. Most of them, they've been bought with these guys who came. We've got guys from DRC. Uh, he bought some machines as well. We didn't have much, but right now, we are now in operation. The guys in South Africa, they give us an order for 3,000 machines they give for South Africa and they give us 20,000 machines for Zambia. That's a taste Rosa, the one that you saw. Um, I've been working with him for so many years. Okay, so that is Michael Chikumbuso talking about his invention, um, about how it has been, it's now blowing up into sales. They have now thousands and tens of thousands of sales that they are doing as in cars. Now, a little backstory on Marco Chikumbu. So this is a guy, you think that with such an invention, he had completed his school, some sort of maybe big engineer, but actually he's a school dropout. Dropped out of school at the age of 14. He moved to the US. He started a company, Set Technologies. And we'll find out more of the things that happen in the US as we go down into this episode. But I'd like us to proceed now into the different inventions that this is microsonic invention is able to power. We mentioned the fact that you now we can have planes, cars, TVs, fridges that can be powered by the microsonic invention. So what this practically means is that the fuel that we are using, electrical energy, we might actually have no use for it in the future, guys. Like this is how big this invention is. He has reached a point where you can power a TV without the use of fuel, without the use of electricity, power your cars, power planes, power houses without electricity. This is how big this invention is. So many people are claiming that his inventions are fake, that he says karma, but I would like to differ because when I looked into Maxwell, I found out that he had created inventions that he has somewhat of a train of inventions that are leading to what he's producing to us today. He had made three years ago, I believe, the self power TV. And that already shows us that the present state of having self-powered cars, planes, things that a car can charge your fridge, is a possibility come if we're looking back at what he has already done. So we're going to take a look at the self-powered TV that he made three years ago and now what he is presenting to us today as the self-powered cars, presenting the self-powered planes and all of that. Let's take a look back three years ago to his man's inventions. This is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed the first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. That's so cool. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting. Red so practically, that's the heart of the invention, a microsonic device that he uses now to power all his other, um, all his other inventions. So he somehow harnesses radio frequency and now turns it to energy that powers different gadgets. The frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is 
it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a, we can call it a, a self-powered television. So that is three years ago, him already having a self-powered TV. And now let's look at today's day and age where he has the self-powered car where he went and presented this car to the president of Zimbabwe. I really like the fact that the Zimbabwe government or the president is in support of these innovations. We have been looking for rev revolutionary inventions to come from Africa. So I really appreciated the fact that the government, the president, stood by him in this invention, considering the fact that he had faced a lot of difficulties with the rest of the world concerning this invention. In the world, the first in the world. This is power from the sky. Yeah, from the radio frequency. This one you have in Zimbabwe. Yes, we have done it in Zimbabwe. Maybe it's good. Yeah. Good. So the vehicle, which is what we call a microsonic energy device, that is being used. Yes, after uh, a long story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go slow, guy. Yeah, the, 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 the vehicle, it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harnesses radio frequencies, converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing, but we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I tell me to have designed. So those are the components that, that, that enable the, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure useful energy and this is the first time in the world. So they wanted to arrest him for changing the physics. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret route after that. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work, uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. So that is Maxwell Chikumbuso talking to the president of Zimbabwe about his revolutionary invention. And if we're looking at the fact that since we began this year, we've had a lot of bad news, a lot of bad things we have reported on. I'm so happy that we're having a very interesting thing we're reporting on. So let's clap for this year. It's beginning to look up for us. And when we look into this, as we should think that it's just supposed to be something that the entire world should be happy about, are going to be saving on money, saving on resources and everything. But funny enough, there are a lot of haters for this particular invention. Like, it's very controversial. And for valid reasons, too, I would say, some valid reasons and others, I believe, are just very stupid. The very first reason they said was that it violates the laws of physics, which I believe is the most stupid reason why people are hating on this invention. I mean, for goodness sakes, it is a breakthrough in science. Whenever something has to break, has to be a breakthrough in science, it has to break a law. We, we look at many other inventions that people are saying it's impossible. They told Elon Musk Tesla was impossible. A lot of things that they told people, this is impossible. The people went ahead and they realized, no, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to the fact that I can do this. So when people are saying, no, we cannot agree for this particular invention because it breaks the laws that existed before, even though we're trying to revolutionize and make new things, we cannot allow the new things to surpass the old things. That's really makes sense to me. Secondly, they said there are not so many verifications to his work. Not many people have studied and verified his work, which I believe is a somewhat of a legit reason. It's for me, I feel like that's one thing I actually agree with because I found out that just particularly one university had done very studies on the work and approved it. But usually for things like these that are maybe like the same, breaking the laws of physics, making revolutionary, things that I've known for years and years, we're about to see that it can actually be different. We need a lot of verification, a lot of studies to back it up. The third reason why we find this to be very controversial is the fact that it has a lot of secrecy in it. And not his fault, I would say. He just really requires that his invention be kept secret because it has not been patented. Okay? When he went to go and somehow license it, they refused. They say, oh, it disobeys the laws of physics. So he has embedded a self-destruct sequence in his invention. 
Meaning if anybody tries to alter anything, tries to dig too deep into understanding how it is formed, the instrument, the invention automatically self-destructs. And it says that it's going to be somewhat of an explosion, but not a very loud explosion so as to hurt anybody, just an explosion enough to destroy the instrument. So we get to find out that nobody can actually know how, what, what is the nitty gritty behind this invention? How is it working? He just tells us that he uses radio frequencies to produce energy. We cannot know. I actually have to blame the product refused to patent the work for why we cannot know because, because it was not patented he would not allow somebody now to come and steal his work and now use it to maybe go and foster the idea and get money before he can actually make profit from what he has invented himself. And the very last reason why this, his invention is controversial, which I also found to be very interesting, is the fact that he insists that when he is doing his inventions, it's some sort of a divine inspiration. Like he can have these dreams where that like God shows him like and teaches him about these inventions. So when you see scientists, we know scientists, they are really be trying to prove against the existence of God. When you find a, someone who is now a scientist and he says he has mixed like God's divine intervention to produce this, they are going to come against it because they have to admit that God exists in a way to accept this because he's saying, I got this, but it came from some sort of a dream. It came from some sort of God sending me inspiration to do this. So scientists are really against it also because of the fact they have said it, is, it has so much of a divine intervention to it. So this is where I think this guy and scientists, other scientists, because he himself is a scientist, regardless of the fact that he dropped out at 14, he has done what other scientists could not do. And maybe that's the fact. Other scientists maybe never had God, never had asked God for the inspiration. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and he has made this revolutionary invention. But regardless, we have realized that anything that um, scientists have been able to make over the time, whether it was inspired by whatever, we have to be able to prove it at some point in time. So I believe that it's not a case of just some sort of maybe voodoo, spiritual, that, that, that. But we would know more about this invention if it was given the legal rights to be patented. Like that's just what's lacking. Allow him to have the rights to protect his things legally, then maybe we can find out actually how this invention comes about. And I also believe that there are many people that don't want to know how this invention came to be. Because if we look at it intensely, what this actually means, because we can think that, okay, yes, if you put Zimbabwe on the map, it's going to put Zimbabwe at the forefront of clean energy. They are the good things, producing costs. But then we have the companies behind that are making millions, billions, out of this fuel energy, electrical energy on cars that will lose millions and billions of wealth to this particular invention. So you see that there are people out there who actually wish this invention does not come to light. And if you go further to listen to the inter to him talking to the president about this invention, because it's a very long video, I believe like eight minutes, he mentioned a particular scenario where he and someone who worked on the invention when they were in America, they got poisoned and one of them died. And he suspects that this was to not allow this invention to meet the market. He said he even had hitmen that were sent after him and he had to run. And the Zimbabwe government called him to come and have his business stationed in the country where they could protect him and they could help him to foster the invention. So we see that just because of how much people are somehow being afraid of this invention reaching the market, it's not just a fact of maybe it's a scam. But maybe because it's actually the invention of the century. Maybe this invention can change the world for us, can reduce expenses, can do so much for those people who cannot afford maybe high fuel prices, electricity. A new might become unwanted at a point in time if this invention is to go broadward. That's how big it is. That's how much these big companies are afraid of this invention. So in as much as there's a lot of secrecy behind the invention, I believe it's for a good reason. And I would really like to have hope and faith in this invention because the fact that many people are coming against it and they are not letting him somehow prove the point shows that they have something to hide. They are seeing that they might lose millions and billions to this particular invention and they, just, and they don't just want to lose that money. I believe that's the case. They want to hold on to the millions and billions they're making from the people already because imagine if all of a sudden we don't need to have Fuel stations, not the fuel stations we have just in like a town, more than 50. All of those at one point will have to shut down the nearest coming future. 
that's how much money certain companies are going to lose. People are going to shut down their companies because there's this invention now that allows people to have all this at a lower price because that's something else. His invention comes at a lower price, lower management. So it's a lot of reduction in expenses that some people might not want us to have. So when we're checking this, Zimbabwe is looking to have its biggest breakthrough, cautioning the fact that Maxwell is from Zimbabwe. So Zimbabwe will definitely be put on the forefront when it concerns countries that are providing clean energy. We're going to have less of um, carbon, carbon um, secretions to the atmosphere that is going to be helpful for our environment. But then again, like we have talked about, they are going to be having a lot of enemies, a lot of fights from the rest of the world that maybe are enjoying the fuel prices increasing left and right and making benefits from it. They're not going to be so happy, okay, guys? But I'm really looking forward to this invention being true, being proved, being sent out. And I can really feel like this year might just get better because of this. <laughs> so fingers crossed. I really wish more grace to Maxwell Chikumbutso. I really hope you are not a scammer. Please, guy, don't be a scammer, okay? Don't break our hearts. Let this be an invention that's going to revolutionize clean energy for the world. And that's all for the video, guys. Thank you for joining us on this episode. Make sure to drop your comments below. How do you feel about the next coming years if this is true? Or do you feel it's a scam? Do you feel it's impossible? Let us know down in the comment section below. But before you go, make sure to like and subscribe to the Next Generation Media channel so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos. Bye.